Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Pal here, coming at you with another very quick video guide for how to set up SSX Tricky through PCSX2 1.5 so you can get it looking sharp and shiny in HD for 2020. Like my other videos, this one does assume that you're using one of the development builds of PCSX2, that's 1.5. If you're not using 1.5, if you're still on the 1.4 stable build, go ahead and check out the links in the description below to get yourself one of the 1.5 dev builds. So in terms of your graphic settings, there is very little that you're going to need to set manually. But there are one or two important issues that you might want to be aware of. If we head on over to our configs, if we go into video and into our plugin settings, you will see that we're currently using the OpenGL hardware renderer. Our interlacing is set to its automatic. Texture filtering on its default of bilinear. I'm allowing 8-bit textures, so my GPU picks up some of the load. I've got a custom internal resolution of 2560 by 1440. Anistropic filtering at 16 times. MIT mapping is automatic. CRC hacks I've currently got set to aggressive, that tends to be my default for most games and hasn't caused me any issues with SSX Tricky. Date accuracy set to fast, and blending accuracy you may want to adjust depending on your PC's hardware setup. You'll notice in SSX Tricky if your blending accuracy is set to anything lower than full, then the snow in game may look kind of grey and dull and washed out. However, doing so on most machines does have a massive performance impact, and is only recommended if you've got a particularly beefy rig. Personally, my machine does struggle to handle it with blending accuracy set to full, and if you want to know exactly what it is that I'm using, what I've got in my tower, then full specs are in the description below. Otherwise, I have no hardware hacks enabled, everything else is set to default. Now, if we move on over briefly to our emulation settings under config, there is one other very important tweak that you're going to want to make, and that is under that first tab under EE slash IOP. If you look down to where we've got our Emotion Engine and our FPU Advanced Recompiler options, I've changed the round mode settings from chop slash zero, which is its default, to nearest as this prevents a unique little bug in SSX Tricky, where when characters collide with each other, they can often get stuck underneath the world geometry. They can appear to disappear altogether, or they can appear to float in midair, and that applies to both the player character and NPCs who are racing down the mountain with you. Setting your round mode to nearest, however, should stop that from happening entirely. And with that done, you should be good to go, and you should have SSX Tricky working almost flawlessly looking sharp and shiny in HD for 2020. If you guys have got any questions or would like to see me stream retro games just like this through emulators, I do so on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at twitch.tv forward slash palfox, links in the description below. Feel free to give me a shout on there or leave a comment here on YouTube. Thanks for watching guys and as always, happy emulating.